As you guys know, this week the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy from Naughty Dog is gonna be released, and it's got me thinking about older games that deserve a second chance too, to get remastered. After all, not everyone grew up with every console, and it would be a shame to see so many great titles never experienced by the modern day player. So today, I'm gonna talk about nine games that I would love to see get remastered sometime in the future, so let's get started. No One Lives Forever, or Nolf, as we used to call it, was one of the zaniest and most fun games to come out in the early 2000s, easily one of my favorite games of all time. It was basically a kick-ass Austin Powers spy game. Initially a PC exclusive, its eventual port to the PS2 did lead it to gaining a larger cult status, yet even that hasn't provided it with the love it deserves. Much like Get Smart, No One Lives Forever simultaneously embraced and spoofed the Cold War spy genre, giving us plenty of ridiculously entertaining action set pieces and tongue-in-cheek dialogue. You work for one of the evilest terrorist organizations on the planet. If anybody in your household is dangerous, my friend, I think it must be you. You know, when you put it like that, the logic suddenly becomes clear. Unfortunately, unlike other entries on this list, there was little chance for this game to actually get remastered. This is due to a rights issue that's very complicated involving various publishers that help the IP in one way or another. But hey, never say never, right? When it comes to the Deus Ex series, many of us these days are most familiar with the prequels like Mankind Divided. Yet the original entries remain not only fun, but also intriguing looks into the realm of autocracy and biohacking. Both games take place in a future where body modifications have allowed a cyberpunk scene to erupt in the face of growing authoritarian control. The best part about Deus Ex Games and its sequel Invisible War is how well the game naturally holds. The AI is smart, levels are designed to encourage different tactics, and the stealth is as good as Thief. The game is great and would be one of those rare games that would benefit from a simple facelift. Spyro is one of those video game characters that's iconic and kinda cute but you really don't know why. The original Insomniac developed trilogy had a good run on the PlayStation, but the rebooted Legend of Spyro for the PS2 failed to ignite the same passion. The property is currently being exploited by the Skylanders franchise. What a better way to bring him back to the forefront of gaming than a remaster of Insomniac's iteration. As we saw with Ratchet and Clank in 2016, the company is clearly capable of reconstructing an older game without sacrificing its authenticity. Demon Souls. This game kicks some major ass. Demon Souls was From Software's first attempt at creating the realistic yet difficult combat situations that players have come to love and expect from the Souls games. Demon Souls did very well for a very small cult following, however it was not commercially successful when you line it up against other AAA games that released during the time. A remaster of Demon Souls would give us a chance to get this awesome game into more hands. While lacking the polish of its spiritual successors, the game still holds many pros, including a brooding atmosphere and richly designed levels full of Lovecraftian creatures. With the Dark Souls series officially quote unquote over, it would be great to see From Software or some other developer take the initiative of remastering Demon Souls for the current gen consoles, and of course the PC too. Demon Souls is most certainly the crowd favorite of the franchise and a real gem at that. Open world games have been around for a long time, but not many people seem to talk anymore about one of the pioneers of the genre, Shinmu. Shinmu was unique in the fact that it introduced many aspects that would come to be staples of popular franchises. There was NPC schedules like The Elder Scrolls Oblivion, quick time events like God of War, day night cycles like Far Cry, a ton of mini games to play like GTA, and so, so much more. The first two entries were among the best open world games ever released, with Shinmu 3 finally getting a release date, let's hope the world doesn't forget about these Sega Dreamcast classics. Xenogears. Man, Xenogears kicked my ass as a kid. Most people think about Xenoblade Chronicles when they think about a Xenoblade game, but Xenogears was the starting point of it all, a little tough-as-nails RPG on the PlayStation 1. Xenogears was actually initially part of the Final Fantasy and Chrono Trigger universes, however it ended up developing into its own thing. This turned out for the better as it gave developer Square more independence designing it. With mecha-style gameplay and a unique story that explores religious themes, Xenogears is definitely in need of a remaster. 
I know what you're thinking, the first three Silent Hills technically got an HD remaster back in 2012. Unfortunately, it was clearly rushed out by Konami. Good old Konami, just love you Konami, in order to make a quick buck, as the result was less than satisfying. Bugs and glitches abounded everywhere, inferior voice acting was dubbed over the original, and the PS2 mist that the developers had utilized was removed without replacement, revealing ugly, unfinished geometry. As a franchise that revolutionized the survival horror genre, Silent Hill deserves better than that trash. Sure, we got a taste of the new direction of the series with Downpour, but it would be great to experience the original masterpiece once again in that full HD shiny glory that we all love. Alright, let's be honest. When Half-Life 3 finally gets released on Xbox 8K and PlayStation 7, we're going to need a reminder as to why the series became so popular. The original Half-Lifes were some of the best first-person shooters ever to be made, some of the best games, period. The gameplay and the story in these games were way above their time, they had sharp controls, surprisingly good puzzles, and just in general, amazing experiences to be had. The flexibility of choice and gameplay needs to come back so that everyone can experience the amazingness of Half-Life because really, I can't wait for Half-Life 3 any longer. Star Wars Kotar, what else can I say about this amazing, classic, beautiful Star Wars game? There have been few RPGs as impactful as this game over the course of the last 20 years. It was so deep and satisfying, there was so much choice and consequence and depth to an old game. It's kind of funny because many people thought that this was another Star Wars cash grab from LucasArts, but it turned into this beautiful experience as players were thrown into an unexplored part of the Star Wars universe. Players got to know what it felt like to be a Jedi, taking part in the war against the Sith. And not just being a character in a video game, but actually being the Jedi and having decisions that mattered and impacted the story. Sure, some could say that PC modders have already upgraded the game countless times, but for consoles, it would be nice to see an official remastered release. So that's it guys, that's my lucky number 9 list of remasters that I crave for in the wee hours of the middle night. I wake up covered in sweat, my hands filled with dew, my brow furrowed at the thought that these games might never see a remastered release. And then I wake up and I play more AAA games that try to take all my money with their DLC content and their microtransactions. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button for me right now and subscribe here for more of our future content. You guys have a great day and we'll see you in our next video.